Hey guys, this is Wylam here, and today I want to talk about portable audio recording systems. We just got back from CES 2018. I'm sure you saw some of the videos if you're tracking my vlogs. And I want to give a quick review of these two portable recorders because they performed excellently out there at 2018 CES. So what I'm going to talk about is basically how to record clean audio in a very challenging environment. When you go to CES, obviously there's a lot of people there, there's a lot of noise, and there's also a lot of RF. So there's a lot of people using wireless out there. So trying to actually get a reliable wireless system working in that environment, it can be very challenging, and it's also very fluid. A lot of times it'll work well one minute, and then somebody jumps on, and then it's not gonna work well for either of you. So it's always nice to have a recorder that doesn't actually depend on wireless. And these two Tascam units actually performed really well. And we're just going to go ahead and show you some examples of that really soon. So the two recorders that I'm going to be talking about is the Tascam DR10L and the Tascam DR10X. Now obviously the X version, it's only this small little section and then you, will re you are required to provide your own microphone. This one is an Electro Voice RE50B. It's a great microphone. Uh, pro tip here is never buy these new because they're expensive. Always buy these used. They're super tough. They're durable, but they work great. And when we show you the examples, you can see why I prefer using this than over something like a lavalier, uh, especially for me. Uh, but really, this is only useful for people that know what they're dealing with. In other words, you don't really want to give this to a new person. And the reason why is because they usually... Um, have the mic too far away from them or they don't have really good mic control. Um, for me, I know what I'm doing, I know what this thing can do and even I still have terrible mic control at times and if you watch any of my CES videos you can see that as well. So I'm not going to talk too much about the technicals, there's plenty of you know uh, videos out there about the technicals. What I want to show you is real world examples of me using these products and you know how good they are. So. I'm going to show you a quick example of me using the microphone when I'm talking to it, which is uh, definitely the better one for voice isolation. It definitely uh, is able to drown out a lot of background noise significantly better than the lavalier. So here's an example of that right now at CES 2018. This is why I am here at CES 2018 where we're doing a lot of drone coverage, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're here at the Power Vision booth and we're going to be talking about the Power Dolphin, an underwater drone. So I'm going to let Craig here take it away. So as you can see, this microphone combined with the Tascam provides me with excellent audio quality, but you can barely hear any background noise, which is pretty amazing. So this combo right here is definitely my favorite when working in a challenging environment with a lot of noise. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Tascam DR10L. And this is the one I usually mic up the person that I'm talking to. So this is the person that's talking about the products. And the reason why I like the lavalier is because it's a very easy set it and forget it. Once you put it on the person, they automatically forget all about it. They see my microphone and they just assume everything's on me and they just talk like normal. So it's really great. The downside to this is that this picks up significantly more background noise. It's not bad, but it's not as excellent as you know having uh, an excellent dynamic microphone. It's one of those uh, you know trade-offs that you're going to have to deal with. But here is an example of what the lavalier sounds like at CES 2018. All right, hey, thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. So this is our 2018 offering. This is the Power Dolphin. Uh, last year we dropped uh, the underwater submersible, the Power Ray and actually won a Best of CES award. So we're hoping to do the same thing this year with this product. So as you can see, we still get amazingly clear audio, but you do hear a lot more background noise. And for the most part, you can also hear me when I'm talking uh, get picked up from this mic. Is it good enough for uh, most professional events? I think so. I mean, you're not gonna get, you know, the greatest of quality. Um, you're gonna have to spend significantly more if you want some some better lavaliers. You can upgrade the actual lavalier itself to try to get uh, increased quality. But again, you're talking about spending a significantly more amount. But if you do that, you pretty much end up that this is the same price range as this. So it might be worth it for what I'm doing. 
it's perfectly fine with the lavalier that came with uh, that came with it. It's one of these products where, like, now that I've used them for a couple of months now, uh, I have them with me all the time. They are just excellent products uh, when I need good audio, especially in a very challenging environment where there's a lot of noise. I'll just go ahead and use that over any sort of shotgun mic. In fact, um, let me give you an example of what the shotgun mic picked up at CES 2018. So as you can tell, um, the shotgun mic picked up pretty much everything. Even though it's a shotgun mic, there's just so much noise, it's so much more sensitive that it's just not really usable as an audio source, in my opinion. It's only usable as a good scratch audio so that you can pick up uh, or you can sync uh, audio from these two mics. You don't need time coding to do this. If you have Adobe Premiere Pro, it's like three button clicks and Premiere Pro will pretty much sync the audio tracks seamlessly almost every time. Never had a problem with it. So long as I have scratch audio, Adobe Premiere Pro has always been like super stellar in helping me sync audio. So really it's just up to you um, keeping track of the audio files and making sure you have them all organized together so you can edit them easily. But definitely really great quality stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Tascam DR10X. So this little portable unit is uh, very simple. It goes at it goes right ahead and connects to pretty much any XLR setup right here. So it attaches to the bottom, takes one simple AAA battery. It lasts for a significantly long time. It can last definitely for a day if you keep, you know, if you don't keep it on while you're not using it. Never really had a problem with battery life, so it's been really great. Over here it has a microphone jack if you want to listen to it. USB if you want to transfer it off instead of taking out the SD card which is located right here. Uh, this particular unit, I believe it only supports uh, FAT32 so it doesn't support like some of the bigger formats out there but that's particularly fine. Wave audio isn't really particularly all that loud. Over here you have your volume controls and then you have the rocker switch which lets you turn it on and also uh, start recording. So these are the more important settings. Uh, they're also uh, designed in a way where it's really hard to actually stop recording this, which is great, just in case you're knocking this around or you're fumbling around, and it's not going to be a big deal if you accidentally hit the buttons. You do have to hold on to them for a little bit in order to turn them on and off. So go ahead, just hold that on for a second. It'll turn right on. As you can see, it'll start reading the card, telling you what is on there. As you can see up top, it's already registering a little bit of my voice, which is fine. It tells you the battery life in that little LED. And you're pretty much ready to rock as soon as you just hit the up arrow. You do have to hold it for a few seconds, and then you'll get that little red recording button. And then it will start recording, and it won't stop recording until you do the same thing. So if you accidentally hit this like that, you know, you hit it a little bit, you can tell it actually does not stop recording because it's actually requires you to hold up a pretty significant amount of time. I would say like two seconds before it'll stop recording. So it's a very nice feature. It's the same for this one and also for the Tascam DR10 uh, L. Um, they're basically the same menu system. So they have the exact same features. Uh, you have your uh, headphone jack over here, USB SD card right over here same type of volume settings with rocker switches. So basically the same setup. Once you know how to use one of them, you pretty much know how to use both of them. Uh, by the way, this whole section, I've actually been recording on its, uh, I have another one of these in case I actually need to record two people and I've been recording with my extra one. So that is a quick tour of it. Uh, hopefully it's been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.